So I have this uh, nifty device here, the uh, GoPro Hero 3 uh, Black Edition. Um, and one of the cool things about the uh, GoPro is the pictures, it's in, uh, it has a wide angle lens, so it really, you're able to capture everything around you, which is really nice. But at the same time, because of the, uh, of, of the curvature of the lens, it also creates some distortion. So I'm going to sh show you how to fix that distortion. So go ahead and open the, uh, uh, picture in Photoshop. Uh, this is just a picture I took last night from the, uh, uh, personal branding meetup uh, that I uh, uh, hosted. Um, so what I'm going to do now is right click on the picture, convert to a smart object. Convert to a smart object maintains all the original uh, information um, uh, of the picture. So as an extreme example, if you took a real picture, shrunk it down and then size it up, it's going to become blurry. Uh, by convert to a smart object, you can do all this manipulation without affecting the uh, the original. Uh, so now after I convert to a smart object, what I'll do is I'll go to filter, lens correction. Now one of the things you can do is, is uh, uh, by default they have this tool here, allows you to uh, select the um, a horizontal or vertical axis and then it will automatically fix some of the, the curvature for you. So in this case I'm just going to do this and fix it a little bit, not quite there. This tool is a, a lot more, um, a lot better for landscapes, buildings, and, and so forth. Uh, since this is just people in um, in the conference room, uh, I'm going to show you the other method, which is uh, same uh, same thing, go to lens correction. And the cool thing with the GoPro is that yeah, uh, Photoshop actually has all this information stored, so you just have to change it to uh, the uh, your edition uh, of the GoPro, and then uh, and then it's going to automatically fix all the, um, the, the lens distortion. So go ahead and click on OK. And uh, basically now these lines are straight. Let me just, in contrast, I'm going to hide this. See, in the original one, this is the original one, this line is curved, this line is curved, this line is curved, and this line is curved. So that's the, the distortion. Um, and when you apply the lens correction, it fixes all that. So now this line is straight, this line is straight, this line is straight, this line is straight, and so forth. Um, to extend and add a little more value to this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do some basic edits to uh, enhance the pictures so um, you know oftentimes you don't need it to be 1400 pixels wide especially if you're uploading for the web so I'm going to change it to 120 pixels wide uh, and you can do that by pressing uh, control alt I uh, or um, and it'll be a command on Mac or you can just go to image and then image size bam and then uh, change it to I'm going to change to 100% this is basically how the picture looks like now so one of the things that I want to do is because this was taken uh, with my uh, just with my hand and it wasn't the most steady picture. Uh, it's a little bit blurry at some parts. So I'm going to go to filter, sharpen, and I added the uh, sharp uh, the sharpen feature to it. Which yeah, I think if you're watching this YouTube video, um, there might be a little bit of compression, so it's a little hard to see. But that does uh, help sharpen some of the. Uh, the, the elements in the uh, in the photograph. Uh, another thing that I can do is um, I can also enhance, bring out some of the, the red and color. So double click on here, maybe um, duplicate this layer. And then what I'm going to do is go to image adjustments and then um, I'm going to fix the uh, go to shadows and highlights and then brighten it up just a little bit. And the difference between this is that it's only going to brighten up the shadows or the dark parts of the photograph uh, versus if you use the standard uh, contrast and brightness, it's going to brighten everything. Uh, and uh, what that usually does is it, if, if there are light elements, it's going to um, turn that completely white and you're going to lose some of the, uh, uh, so, some of the, the, uh, the, the original picture. Um, as an example, I'm going to show you right now. What I mean. So as an extreme example, if I do, you know, do that, um, see how this just becomes completely white. This becomes completely white, and there's no like details uh, here. Uh, same with here, uh, versus with this. Um, you know, these elements are white, but you can still see like the detail over here, over here, over here. Uh, you can see more of the detail here. So that's the difference between the. Uh, the, the those two tools. And I'm also going to increase the the um, 
uh, the saturation vibrance a little bit. So what I can actually do is, um, in this case, vibrance doesn't really do a whole lot, or at least compared to um, saturation. But what I'm going to do is maybe just adjust just a little bit here, just to bring the red out a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then go back to the original, or not the original, but the version that I'm working with. And basically that brings out the color a little bit more. Uh, so hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you have, uh, like this video, share with your friends, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also go to my blog, yanhuang.com, change the URL. Um, and uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Google Plus, and so forth. And feel free to subscribe to my mailing list. Uh, other than that, thank you very much for watching, and thank you for subscribing.